Hello class, this is Mr. Alleman and I'm going to be talking about respiration. Respiration is a fairly difficult topic, so the meaning of this screencast is to help you develop some of these ideas involved in respiration. So let's begin. What is respiration? A lot of you probably associate the word respiration with breathing and lungs and blowing bubbles and fun things like that. Instead, we're going to be talking about cellular respiration, which is the process of taking food and converting it into energy that your body can use. So this idea of taking energy within food and converting it into energy that your body can use is related to the lab that you did earlier today of burning food. In this lab, you lit food on fire, and the fact that it burned and increased the temperature of the water proved that food contains energy. The chemical bonds within food contain energy that is released when you burn the food. All right? So what powers your body? Do you burn food like we did in the lab today? Do you have a little furnace inside your stomach that's kind of, you know, lighting food on fire and you know, creating energy that way? No, I and mean, we all know that. Instead, what your body does is it converts the energy contained within chemical bonds of food to energy contained within the chemical bonds of ATP, adenosine triphosphate. The reason that your body does this conversion is that you can't just use glucose to power reactions that take place in your body. ATP is the perfect molecule for carrying out the chemical processes that happen in your body. This is a representation of an ATP molecule. As you can see, it's got a couple rings, sugar rings like what you've seen, and these three phosphate groups. You can see between the second and third phosphates there is a high energy bond, all right? And when this bond is hydrolyzed, energy is released, all right? This, the energy in this bond is what cells use to drive chemical reactions in the cell. The energy of this bond is ideal for almost all reactions that take place in your body. So that is the energy that we're trying to get from our food, all right? The generation of ATP from food is called cellular respiration. So this process of going from glucose to ATP is cellular respiration. So within respiration, there are three different cycles. And within each of these cycles, there are several different chemical reactions that take place. And we don't want to get hung up on those details right now. I just want you to be thinking about how you take glucose, you go through respiration, and you produce ATP, okay? ATP is the final product of cellular respiration, all right? So we're gonna, I'm gonna give you a little preview into some of the more specific uh, processes that happen during cellular respiration, all right? And we're gonna start at the end. We're going to start with the generation of ATP. So there are cycles that come, there are things that come before this process. We're not going to worry about those right now, but right now I want you to think about how the ATP is actually generated. All right? And we can think about it like how a dam works, how a hydroelectric power plant works. So you've got water and the dam, and the water flows through the dam, and as it flows through the dam, it turns turbines and generates energy, all right? The same thing works in the cell. Works the same, the same thing happens in the cell, all right? You've got a bilayer here, all right? A lipid bilayer, and that represents the dam. And on one side, there are all these protons, so that is the side with all of the water, all right? And so what happens is you've got this turbine, right? And this turbine lets the the protons go through it and it spins this turbine. In the process of spinning this turbine, you produce ATP, all right? 
So this is called, this is the final step of cellular respiration. Okay? Alright. The last thing I want to talk about is the mitochondria. So the mitochondria is the hydroelectric power plant of the cell. So this is where this is taking place. This is where the dam is, this is where the hydroelectric power is being created, and it is a specialized organelle within the cell that produces ATP. So that's it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for filling out your sheet. Tomorrow we're going to talk a little bit more about this process of creating ATP. It's awesome. It's important for you. It's important for me because if we didn't have it, we would all die.